There's an old saying that goes, good artists copy, but great artists steal. Since the beginning of time, people have drawn on the same classic stories to make brand new ones. In books, films, and basically anything in between. But when your inspiration is half a world away, it can be tempting to copy a few extra details, or the entire story from beginning to end. Those responsible may claim that it's all one big coincidence, but we'll let you decide. Go ahead and rank your favorite anime films in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this one. Here are Screen Rant's anime films that were ripped off by Hollywood movies. Inception. Christopher Nolan's story of operatives invading and stealing from a person's dream was one of the most original blockbusters in years, but it owes some of that credit to the Japanese film Paprika, based on a novel by the same name. The stories kind of differ, but Paprika was also built on the idea of misusing dream technology, breaking into patients' minds as part of a dream therapy. Nolan admitted the anime was used as inspiration for his film, even if it didn't go quite so far in bending reality. A live-action Paprika was in development in 2010, but when Inception stole the show, Updates stopped completely. Pacific Rim In the 90s, the Japanese anime scene was in a bit of a slump, until Neon Genesis Evangelion came along. Audiences instantly fell in love with the show's young hero, who uses his mind to pilot a massive mech in battle against enormous alien monsters, and tries to befriend a quiet, withdrawn fellow pilot. If that plot sounds familiar, you're probably a fan of Pacific Rim, a movie that drew from a ton of anime and mecha stories. The director and writer claim they never saw the original anime, but the similarities seem to be a lot more than just coincidence. The Matrix. Some movies steal ideas or style from an anime but keep it quiet. But the Wachowskis have always been open about the debt they owe to Ghost in the Shell, a cyberpunk tale of futuristic cyborg agents. The plot may not be a match, but the action, style, and setting sure are. Apparently, the anime was actually the entire pitch for the film. The Wachowskis showed it to producer Joel Silver and then told him they planned to make it in live action. The deal was done, and comparing the two movies shows the directors actually pulled it off. Dark City. This tale of a dystopic future was released just a year before The Matrix, and it has also been pointed as a source of inspiration for the Wachowskis, with the films even sharing some of the same sets. But director Alex Proyas has actually pointed to one world-famous anime as a direct influence. The original manga and anime versions of Akira became iconic hits, and Dark City's climactic battle is an obvious homage to the final battle in the animated film too. The director calls it an homage, but put the scenes side by side, and fans might see a slightly stronger similarity. Van Helsing. In Bram Stoker's original Dracula, Abraham Van Helsing was introduced as an aging, science-minded man of action. It was only later versions that made Van Helsing a seasoned vampire hunter. But the Japanese anime Vampire Hunter D created a pretty original and unmatched hunter of the undead. In a world mixing steampunk, magic, and science fiction, the half-vampire D looked more like a cowboy, with a long black cloak and a large hat and hair to protect him from the sun as he hunted down monsters of the dark. The allusions to the original Dracula through dozens of novels and animated films eventually made their way to the West. So when a blockbuster Van Helsing was greenlit in 2007, the filmmakers reimagined the old scholar, essentially bringing Vampire Hunter D to life. The Lion King. As we mentioned in our other video, popular movies that stole their plots from other films, if Disney's worldwide hit starring the lion named Simba seemed familiar at the time, you're definitely not alone. Even star voice actor Matthew Broderick assumed The Lion King was an American remake of Kimba the White Lion. The famous anime series follows another lion club who learns the hard way what it takes to be a leader. Even though Disney has denied they borrowed from Kimba, exact scenes are copied from one to the other. The movie began Disney's renaissance in animated films, but it's pretty obvious they had some help. Atlantis, The Lost Empire Disney's Atlantis is seen today as being well ahead of its time, but early on it was seen as a disappointment by the studio, criticized for its shift in animation style and lack of songs. Maybe Disney had hoped the film would be just as popular as the anime series Nadia The Secret of Blue Water, a Japanese story of a strange girl and her brilliant friend who board a submarine and cross paths with Atlantean forces. Both movies claim to be inspired by Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, but the similarities, down to the mystical blue crystal worn by both of the characters, are kind of incriminating. Black Swan. On the surface, there doesn't seem to be much in common between the story of a young ballet dancer and a Japanese pop singer turned actress. But when anime fans finally saw Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan, they felt differently. Some even claimed the film was a reimagined remake of Perfect Blue, a film also based on an up-and-coming star who starts seeing double and becomes lost in paranoia and eventually commits murder. Aronofsky has denied any connection, but the almost identical scenes and shots are hard to argue, especially after reports surfaced that the director had gotten the rights to a Perfect Blue remake when filming Requiem for a Dream in 2000. Thanks again for watching. What do you think of our list? Did we miss any suspicious similarities between Hollywood films and anime hits? Let us know in our comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.